Hey, what's up YouTube? Speaker Man 86 here, and I got the uh, Hyphonics Elite 6.5 inch uh, component speakers. Just ordered these from Amazon. I did have another order coming from uh, Sonic Electronics, but there was a problem with their website, and they didn't actually have the product anymore that I'd placed an order for, and they were not willing to make it right, so I had to get a refund and order something different. But today we're going to be talking a little bit about these. Um, I ordered them because they were pretty high up on Hyphonic's website. These are the BZE65C two-way components. Um, supposedly they got a woven fiberglass cone uh, or glass fiber cone and a one-inch silk dome tweeter with the crossovers. Um, rated pretty high but on Amazon they're around 50 bucks so don't expect big things but we'll see how they sound so for a little bit of the specs here if I can zoom in they're rated at 35 watts RMS each 70 watts peak uh, 4 ohms which most of your car speakers are going to be 4 ohms unless you're talking about subs or brands like uh, JBL or Infinity that are rated at 2 or 3 ohms. Um, crossover point is at 5 kilohertz. Sensitivity is 86 decibels. Frequency response, they say 20 hertz to 20,000 kilohertz or 20,000 hertz. Um, I really doubt these are going to be capable of getting down to 20 hertz. Most six and a half inch speakers won't do it. When you start talking about 10s, 12s, 15s, then you can get down to 20 hertz. But realistically, I'm not expecting these to get down below 60. And I'll probably have them crossed over in my vehicle at around 63 anyways. So yeah, I, I wouldn't believe that. But on to the unboxing. little box there it's probably gonna be the crossovers so straight out of the package they give us a sticker um, I won't be putting that on my vehicle, honestly. Um, that's just free advertisement for them. But if you want to, great. Got the owner's manual, installation guide. Um, it tells you mounting dimensions and so forth on there. It tells you how to install the tweeters. they're not going to tell you really how to take your car apart or anything like that they just give you basic instructions here these are pretty useless and then if you decide that you need a template for the speaker they do give you one which is handy they got for the tweeter the little pod and the woofer however they don't have one for the crossovers so that's interesting some people like to mount the crossovers kind of out of sight behind the door panels but anyways these look like they are the pods for the tweeters um, that way you can service mount them if you want nothing real special just a plastic cup Run the wire through the bottom. Let's see what's in here. Need to get a knife real quick. The 
here we've got crossovers, mounting screws, looks like brackets for the tweeters possibly, A little crossover network there, it's not really big, something this size you're probably going to be able to hide it just about anywhere, up under the dash, inside the door, behind the door panel. Tweeters there. More mounting hardware. Second crossover. I am kind of curious to see if the covers come off of the crossovers. Looks like they're screwed together. You probably get into them if you uh, wanted to take those four little screws out, but I mean, they're pretty light, not real heavy, not a lot to them. But you got your input here. That's going to be where you hook up the input from your stereo, you know, where your normal speaker wires would go. And then you run one set of wires to the woofer run set of one set of wires to the tweeter and the crossover handles separating the frequencies between the two so you don't get your base frequencies to your tweeters and it gives you better separation of sound now the tweeters looks like they come with a little bit of wire Generally, when you buy a set of speakers like this, you get a little bit of wire with them. Enough to install, anyways. So... That does not look like the picture. I'm not really sure what to think about that. That looks like it's probably the magnet, the speaker in the back. Unless I am missing something here. I can see the front of the tweeter from the other side, but this looks like a mounting cup. It looks exactly like this. So. Not off to a great start. I'm not really sure what to do is with that. I've seen a lot of speakers, but they almost look like they're mounted backwards in their cups. And the other tweeter is exactly the same. That's retarded. Doesn't look anything like the picture at all. Anyways, I'll give you guys an update on that if I figure it out. On to the woofers. Got the grills, pretty standard issue. Really plain other than it says Hyphonics there. Looks like there's an adhesive strip or something down inside there. Now on to the woofer. They look pretty nice. Real rigid cone. Not a whole lot of movement here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Um, the front of the cone looks like it is the woven glass fiber cone, which a lot of brands are starting to go toward a material that's like that. I believe Focal started it. The back of the cone looks like it's actually the same material. You guys can see that. So I was halfway expecting it to be 
polypropylene or some kind of plastic with just a pattern in it. Um, here, kind of a real nice feature, is the screwed on speaker terminals here. So you can either connect a spade connector or you can solder, or you can actually pull the screw out if you have ring terminals on the end of your speaker wire and then run the screw back in if you want a pretty solid connection there. Um, don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm actually getting light through the cone. That's very interesting. And then another thing that is interesting, if you can see these holes here, that is venting for the voice coil. I can actually see up into the spider underneath there, but at the same time there is no venting for the back of the voice coil. So pretty small magnet. They got this plastic cover on there. Um, actually, the whole speaker basket seems to be made out of plastic. It's not anything special. These speakers are really light. Um, yeah, and of course, if you look here, it says 40 watts RMS, 80 watts max, which is completely different from what the box said. So, with all of that being said, I do not have high hopes for these. I'm going to hook them up, put them in my front doors, and see how they sound. But, uh, yeah, you guys can see the mismatched information here. Other woofers the same. They did not come with any kind of speaker wire that I can see. Most of your even cheaper brands from Walmart will come with 10 feet or so of speaker wire. These come with nothing. And like I said earlier, I really don't know what I'm going to do with these unusable tweeters because these are not going to radiate sound. You can see on the box what they're supposed to look like. And they were advertised as a silk dome tweeter. So I might write the company and see if I can find out anything on that. But yeah, that does not look right at all. My guess is they're made in China and they were assembled backwards. So there you have it. The Hyphonics Elite BZE 65C $49.99 from Amazon. I'll let you guys know if I get them installed. Peace. Alright guys, so quick update. I did get the tweeters out of their cups. They were pushed in there backwards, I guess to protect them during shipping. They got nice little neodymium magnets on them. There's the cups that they were in. They were kind of in there like this. Um, so that's how they were shipped to me. I kind of pried on them a little bit with my knife and then got them to come out. Right. Now they look a little bit more like the picture. So I'm gonna to try to get them installed over the next few days and let you guys know how they sound. Hopefully they sound halfway decent.